Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about treatment types and position. I know this is old stuff for most of you out there, but I get calls every day and people just confuse absorption and diffusion uh, and the technologies associated with them so much that I thought, well, let's revisit this topic and kind of get a refresher course uh, for all of us because it's important that we all get on the same page when it comes to the terminology because if we don't use the correct terminology and you don't use the correct terminology with me when we're on the phone on the phone talking about your room we can't get anything accomplished so I'm always telling people well let's back up a little bit because you're really talking about absorption instead of diffusion you're really talking about diffusion instead of absorption. So let's kind of revisit some of these uh, terms. We know there's only two types of treatment in acoustics. I wish there were more. There would be a need for more, but who has the time? I sure don't to create something new. There's combinations of these two. There's combinations of absorption and diffusion. We have it with our QDA series, but as a general rule, there's just these two main types. Now companies are going to call foam a diffuser and you're going to have to just get used to that and realize that those statements are completely false. So there's a lot of myths out there as we've discovered and, and talk about it in other videos. So absorption deals with low, middle and high frequency. So it covers all the frequencies. Obviously the low frequencies are the most difficult to absorb. And that's our carbon technology. That's our diaphragmatic technology. Then we have uh, diffusion really is a technology for mids and highs. Can low frequency energy be diffused? Yes, but the distances involved with the diffuser that you would have to build. If you're going to diffuse energy that's 100 cycle energy, your diffuser is going to be at least 36 inches deep. So it starts to get impractical below certain frequencies because the size of the tool, the diffuser that you have to use is so large that nobody has space for a 12 inch diffuser in most of their rooms, let alone one that's 36 inches deep. And we've built many that have been this deep, um, not lately, but our Prime 17, Prime 19, Prime 23 diffusers can be 16, 17, 18 inches deep. So if you have the space, it's always nice to diffuse as many frequencies as you can, but most of us can't do that. So, and another thing we have to realize is that low frequency energy is wave energy. Remember our example of the ocean waves that oscillate? And that middle and high frequency energy is kind of like sunshine, okay? It's mainly ray energy. It's shorter, straight line. Well, it's a horrible sun, but I think you get the idea. So you can see graphically that the two are completely different. So they need completely different treatment types, okay? This one is airborne energy. This is pressure. And people confuse those too. That's where this foam is a base trap thing came about. And it, nothing could be further from the truth. So if you understand that low frequency energy is a pressure uh, problem and middle and high frequency energy is ray energy, then we understand that there's going to be different technologies to treat those. Now let's talk about some of those technologies. What are they? Well, low frequency we have diaphragmatic, which is the most powerful. That's the one we use. Then there's Hemaholtz and then there's membrane. We're going to talk about those in other videos, but those are pressure activated technologies. Then for middle and high frequencies or ray energy, we have diffusion. We have open celled foam. The one that uh, is used a lot is building insulation, which we do not, uh, you know, talk about or, or use at all in any of our projects for a lot of reasons. And then you have to realize that pressure and ray energy is, are different and we need different technologies to treat them. Now, positioning in the room, obviously low frequency energy is a problem throughout the room, so we're gonna to have to position it in the walls, 
the floor and the ceiling. We've even done rooms where we've put the low frequency energy in the floor. Piano rooms are a good place for that because you've got this large instrument producing large amounts of energy sitting two and three foot from a surface area. So naturally that's going to be a problem underneath the piano. That's why it's hard to get pianos to sound good in rooms and it's also hard to get a good recording of a piano because it's radiating energy from so many different directions. And that floor to piano problem is a big one. So positioning of the low frequency energy throughout the room, middle and high frequency energy also throughout the room, you know. In control rooms, we use absorption for the ceiling. We also use diffusion. In two channel listening rooms, we use absorption front and side walls and sometimes diffusion on the front wall and then the rear wall. Each usage has a particular treatment type that's needed and a particular position for that. And we all know with low frequency energy, it's so much dependent on your room size and volume. Every room that's small is going to have a big problem. Now, you minimize the problem. You never eliminate. It's all about management. Just like soundproofing, there's no such thing. Sound is never proofed. It's managed. We lower the levels so that it, it doesn't create nuisance or, or uh, issues with us, but we never eliminate it. I've built rooms that are, have structures that are 12, 14 inches thick of concrete, and we still get bleed at the lower frequency. So management is the key there. So I hope this helps. Just keep in mind that absorption and diffusion are our two main types, and that absorption is a pressure technology and diffusion works on, you know, energy that's uh, more straight line and airborne. And I think if you understand the difference between the two energies, you'll understand the difference in the treatment requirements. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.